ask you again if you can think of these questions so that I can complete the verification process. Yeah. Otherwise, I won't be able to help you. Okay. In the past, did you, you advised me you were running the company. Apart from the company, were you getting any other income? Yes, I was a builder. I was a builder in a garage, mechanic garage, um, automotive um, company, shadow limousines, and also um, CNG automatics. I, 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 I've been a, I'm a garage A grade, a garage mechanic, and garage mm -hmm. license and and fuel uh, license um, uh, operator for warrant for fitness and all that ma 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 okay. maintenance. Okay. Yeah, not only from job, um, any anywhere else. I, 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 work, I worked in real estate in, in Remiera and, and for Harvey's Real Estate. And uh, where else have I gone? I, I worked as a builder in, um, in um, where was it? Here, Odehu. And I've been, I've been a few trades. The thing, you have to go to my website because it's hard for me because I've done a lot of trades. And, okay. uh, and, and I'm just worrying about my own account and what's happened to my account. And my business okay. and the yes. tax department, because they can okay. audit me, and you're fine. Okay. I'm telling you what I'm saying. I never made an income, but the man that gone run off my company, that's the one I want to audit, because it's already yes. gone in on the report. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, can you please tell me the uh, Maori authority's name that you're getting um, elaborate um, income from them? Come from where? Sorry. From the Maori authority in the past, do you know the name? What was the name of that? The Maori, um, I mean, the Maori, I, I don't know what you mean. Uh, the Maori, the Maori authority, you had... Authority, Ma Maori authority, no. Uh, no, I've never got anything. I've just been, I've, I've just been working in my own, um, own, um, um, what we had, in corporations. And I never made, I never, I never got it off the ground. I used to, to, to run our, our, our organisation, but never had, ma I've never made any income. The only have one. You, mm -hmm. Have you ever had a ben uh, received any benefits in the past? That's all. I've, I've received the, the um, pension, and before that, I've been unemployed. But most of the time, I've been in Japan. I've been all over the place learning the trade of aqua farms in Japan. And and, uh -huh. and and after my mechanics, I went over there. I've been uh -huh. through programs with Maori in, in yeah. aqua farms and things. Uh -huh. hmm. Okay. Do, do you remember when... Do, do, I, I, I understand this is like old information. Do you remember any idea of the year when you were on benefits? Maybe just close to that year? Well, I, I can't even tell that. Well, when I came off Apprentice, I went to, to 1972, I went to Tokoro in the, in the forest products in the bush, and I worked for the forest products in the timber industry, and then went from there into um, my, my self-employed business in Auckland, in shadow limousines, just limousines, I built limousines, stretch limited, and run that passenger service. I got a license for that too, passenger license. So that business was going... Uh, shadow limousines and um, CNG automatics. That was one business. And then uh, after that, I went into work for Newman's Coastlines and for another place, Horizon Holiday Homes. And then I was a mechanic there getting on wages there. Then after that, I went to the real estate to learn that. And then, and, 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 yeah, because I've been all over the place. Well, how am I going to get to the tax department? I'm going to, I'm going to go in there and run in there and tell them I want this thing. I've got a, I've got a report ID for a criminal crimes of proceeds of crime here, and it's on the record. And I've lost two hours putting the report in. I want someone to talk to in the crimes division to for my company. That's worth 17 trillion. Can't you believe me? It's true. It's true. It, I don't have to talk to you like this. You don't have to go through and find out who I am. Everybody knows who I am. 
They know what I'm doing because it's out and open. Why do I have to go through this? Because I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a uh, senior that's that's getting this, and and I'm a confederation of chiefs, chief, and I shouldn't be treated like this. You shouldn't do this to me. I'm worth more. I shouldn't go through all this. The, this is pulling my intelligence down. You're bending my intelligence. I am worth a lot. Why do I have to go through this? When I come into the IRD, they're going to find I'm right. And I don't have to go through all this rigmarole and going through my life just to get verification. It's me. It's me. But here's my number, 184-0072-704. And that's a big criminal report I want done. That's what I'm looking up for. I want that case. Get somebody on that case. I want to do that case. It's in Singapore. But it's fraud. It's money laundering. That's what I'm doing. I want someone to talk to. Not you. Just get me someone with that reference number and that ID report. That's a police report and also you. It's all over the, the Facebook. Everybody knows what I'm doing because I'm telling them. I'm going to tell them on you because you're holding me up. I'm important to the people here. I'm saving this country. The New World Order is going to take this country over. If I don't get through you, they're going to take it. We're going to lose it. No matter what everybody, you too. I'm talking for you. Um, John, can you please calm down? Well, you're making me angry because I'm here for you. You're going to lose everything here. I want to get through to this reference number. Get somebody onto it. 184-0072-704. Get that number. Because I'm desperate. I want a criminal court. And it's the investigator. There was somebody, Amy there, doing it. And she took two hours to write it all up. It's reported. It's a report. As proceeds of crime. I want the criminal of the tax department, otherwise I'll drive in there and go and fix it up myself, without you. Um, John, if you keep talking to me like that, I have to disconnect the phone. I am trying my best to help you. If you calm down, please, uh, let me to see what I can do for you. I gave you the number. But if you keep talking to, if you keep talking to me like that, I am not continuing the call with you. Well, I'll report you if you don't. You'll get them. Then you... Well, I'll write a, a letter to you, so it takes me a whole week to write a letter to you, so I can get through the tax department, the criminal division. I want to get through, and I'll write a letter, a long, long letter, with everything on it, of who I am, and which way I work and everything. I'll write it all up for you. Well, you're going to put me for a whole heap of trouble, writing things up just to get an ID. I'll write the whole thing, okay? I'll write the whole thing for you. So you take it home and put it on the wall. Yes, please, get me that number, somebody to talk to. I just want someone to talk to. They know already. They've taken all my ID. They've got it, everything. They've got my company and everything. It's all a report. That number's got my report with me. It's a criminal report. Can you give me the number, please? 184 Okay, please. Bloody hell. Getting on my nerves. Trying to get an ID to ID me. When they got a report already. Over two hours. A full case. This is how frustrating these bastards are. I'll fix her up. A complaint. I'll put in a complaint. Just going back through my history, they want to know every little bloody thing just to get an ID, to identify me. Story of my life. I've got plenty of things to do. 
I got my nerves running. I have my blood pressure going up. really got me. I can't remember. I did everything. The all, they, all they should know is I got no tax to pay. It's zero. Why do you have to go through all that trouble? This is the tax department, IRD. I'm just trying to get through to Amy, and she's putting me through hoops and hoops and hoops to identify me because I haven't asked one question. Now she's going to have a look because I'm bloody upset. I've got a criminal bloody reference number, and I'm telling all of you what the number is, and that's my business. I shouldn't be telling you, but I am anyway. See what's going to happen with that number. You've got it now. They can tell a Maori and then they chop you on the heel. When it's a Maori, boom! See, that's what the treatment Maoris get. That's why I'm sick of them. I'm gonna what the bloody law. What? What's this space? The whole bloody lot is corrupt. The whole system is corrupt. She's working for the WEF and the government. And they're trying to sell me crypto. And I'm going to split the whole thing right to the middle. Spoil my day. I had such a good day. Seventeen bloody trillion, and that's what I get. They should go and see that from a number I get. Because they should have got straight there. What, what am I treating there like shit? Because I gave her a, a criminal number. It's a report I did. It's a report. I put the report in and took all my details who I am already. And this one here is at the office at the front. Won't let me through. She should have put me straight through. This is wrong with this system. I better not cover it up. There'll be more trouble. And and Alfred Mitchell is going on on with Michelle Coco in Hawks Bay tonight. And I'll be there on there too, and I'll be getting into him. I want him jail. Him and Eddie Mitchell, jail. And this one's here holding me up. This is a case. They stole my company and 17 trillion. That's what I'm worth. Um, thank you, John, for holding the line. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to give you a number. You need to give a call to that number, please. That's the criminal... Good, thank you very much. Piece. That's all I want, please. Yes. Two two five. Yes. Six one zero. Oh. Okay, that's all I need. Thank so you very much. They will be they will be closing at six o'clock. Yeah. And I just want to confirm with you because why I couldn't complete the verification process. The address we have on file for you is Unit One Twenty Six Marjorie Marjorie Crescent Note Forty Five. Yeah, it's forty five. I'm in a caravan of of the council of Auckland City Council. And I'm in there with 45, the number on the caravan. Okay, I will update this for you. You can make a call to that number and they will be able to help you. Oh, 
that's good. Thank you very much. No problem. Okay. And you have a, you have a good afternoon. And you too. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. Sorry about that. Yeah, I would have got that number, but it's horse this bloody number out. Just for bloody ordinary tax. No wonder I went to the wrong number, it's the other number. That's what I get frustrated because I always put the wrong number in. Two, two, where's. Oh, there, that, that's the right one. I've got to be more efficient with what I'm doing because I'm writing down numbers that are wrong. That's the number for no, normal IRD. This is criminal. I already had that number. I, I picked the wrong number. No one I got nowhere because I went to the wrong place. No, eight hundred. Two two five six one zero. Oh. Let's go again. Yeah. And welcome to the Inland Revenue Anonymous Information Line. You can report tax evasion and fraud anonymously. Get it done online anytime at ird.govt.nz forward slash anonymous. Are you calling to report suspicious activity? Yes. Criminal. Please note, the call may be recorded. Better keep note. Speaking to Nige, how can I help you there? Yes, what's your name again? Sorry? My name is Nige, N-Y-G-E. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my name is John Wanoa, and... Uh, I've got a, uh, a ID report number here, just a reference. It's 184-0072704. And that's my report to Amy for a proceeds of crime and uh, money laundering. I just want to catch up with that. With, no, no, I want to put it to see how it's progressing because Amy took the call for over two hours and so there might be some development in it. I'm just waiting for someone to come here to my place in who I, I need a tax, um, tax um, um, investigator because the claim is, is, a, is a big claim. It's not anonymous. It's not, I've disclosed everything. And, and I run a native court here um, in this country for Britain. It's, it's, it's a case that needs investigation. I want an audit on his account because of my business. He's stolen my business and the money that it's, it's, uh, belongs to me and the people I'm using. Okay. I will get you to answer a few security questions. Yeah. It's okay, John. Yeah. Your date of birth, please. It's 8th of August 1949, next month. 75. Okay. I'll be 75. 75 next month. Yes, That's yes. Ideal. And what is the address that you have? That um, unit or caravan 45, number 26, Marjorie Jane Crescent in Odohu, 1062. Code. And what is your phone number, John? It's 021. 07825234. No, it's disclosed fully. Yeah, I'm looking into the notes. Yeah, I'm looking into the notes. Yeah, that's right. I can see if it's an anonymous report has been made. Yeah, it was the only number I could get through to a criminal division. That's right. But I'm just
Yes, so I'm waiting for someone to come here to my address because all the books are here. I've got bundles of, of, of legal books here that I put together with Britain. And, and it's real crown, crown, British Crown stuff and New Zealand Crown stuff. And that's what I've been researching all along. It's 50 years of research. And it's about lease of New Zealand country to Britain. The lease. I'm, I'm holding the lease title, the native lease title, which is worth 17 trillion. And that's okay. what's so on the record. What I'm, what I'm saying, John, is if they need information, they'll be in contact. Yeah, but when is that going to be? I need to, to be on it right away because I don't yeah, have money to no pay lawyers. That, but, uh, yeah, no doubt about that. But uh, if they need information, yeah, they're but, in the system now, if they need information from you, then they'll be contacting. Yeah, but yeah. whose information is it? It's my information you're, you're, I'm giving to you because it's in my court and it's in front of the whole country. Watch it, because I need to put it back into our court straight to Britain. It's Britain. I'm using the High Court. I'm a High Court judge, a native High Court judge. So no one can overrule what I'm doing, not even your court, because they can't contest it. They're not contesting it because they're quiet. Everybody's quiet and not say anything. So what I do is real. I don't have to wait for anybody because it's serious. 17 trillion, I'm saying, it's there. Go and have a look at the company's office in, on, in Australia. There's 303 companies, this man here, Eddie Mitchell, in Hamilton, where I was staying at his business address, him and I, and he's gone and run off. He's supposed to bring the, bring the money back to me for the people of New Zealand. So he's run off and bought a lot of property, 17 trillion bucks worth in Australia. There's 303 registered companies just in a week, last week, and he's registered, and that's where all that money's gone. It belongs to me. That's what I'm saying. Why don't you go straight on? Because it's serious. 17 trillion is 5.7 million tax to pay. There, I'm telling you what you should get out of it. But the money's gone to Australia, and under that jurisdiction, because I've got that tax department down there on the go too. Somebody's got to own up to me. I'm a taxpayer with my benefit. I'm doing this on my benefit, my pension. I'm doing it because I don't have an income. You've uh, called a few times on the 29th of June, 23, the 11th of July. Uh, it was quite a few calls. And I can see 18th of July again. And, uh, and also my colleague. So I'll tell you this again. You've made a report. Yes, I want some... So, uh, well, how long would I wait? Because I can't wait. Okay. It's going to happen, and I'll be too late because... So, the, so yeah. we'll be doing that on our own time frame. If anybody needs to be in contact with you, like I said, they will be. Well, I have to go without you. I have to go through the door of lawyers and raise the money to go and do it because you can't do your job for me. I'm there auditing his books because he stole my company. And why don't you do something with that? Yeah, but I, that's, not, that's not good for me because my, I'm suffering because that money is being spent and you should audit where that money's gone because it doesn't belong to his brain. It belongs to my brain. So why, if you can't tell me that you can help me, then say so. I won't worry you anymore. I won't ring you anymore because you're no use to me. I have to go back to Britain because you're not helping me. Yeah, so that's all I want, because it's going on camera. It's going on the news. So that, that's, that's what you can't do for me here as the taxpayers of New Zealand. They're going to see, because I'm, I've got everything in the court. And you might just see some truth in what I'm saying for your sake, because I'm doing it for you and everybody else here. The lease on this country. Do you know anything about contract law? No. You don't know. I know, because my ancestors put this together in this country. That's hard to get you on here. And I'm, I'm doing just that. And I want to find out some justice. Uh, a good thing to do, John. Pardon? If we need, if we need to be in contact. Yeah, but why do you, why do you fellas are like that? Because, is, is, is it because I'm a Maori? You make me hang around while you fellas, when it suits you, just the trouble. So I, think, uh, I think now is about a good time to end the call. 
Yes, well, that's all right, because you're on record. You're on the camera. You're on the camera. What's your name? What, what's your name? What is your name? Give me your name. What's your name? What? Yeah, well, well, I'll get your name, dear, because I'm, 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 I'm just going to keep it in my head so that I know it, you, you can't help me. No, okay? That's all. That's all. Okay. All right. Fucking useless. Okay, that's that. I'm, I'm, I'm pissed off with the tax department. I want to wrap the whole bloody lot up. You watch. I'll get there yet. I'll get there yet. You can't help me. That fella can't help me. Because that Amy was good. and But they must have worked it out. They must have worked. They're going to get caught. That's why they're getting like this. They're getting shitty. And tell me, we'll ring you in. We'll, we'll ring you. Well, that's how they do. We'll call you, not you call us. And they'll way right out. So we're going to use another tactic. I'll get them in the end. Fucking make my blood boil. You wonder why these mongrels are running a scam business. They back each other up because they can't answer in the court in front of everybody. Yeah, the tax department is crooked. They've got double standards. They're going to bury down Bradstreet. And I'm, that's my accountant, and it's Eddie Mitchell's accountant, Dun Bradstreet and the government's accountant, Dun Bradstreet. So they buried it and put Milton, Illion, Arizona, Americans in there to cheat, lie, and steal, and put it into um, Recovery Corp, Australia Tax Department. See? They say you won't get your money. That's what... Blair Ingram said, see, I can tell, the Pākehā, it can't be trusted. The British can't be trusted. No Pākehā can be trusted. They came in here on my land. Now get them off my land. My land. I'm saying it's my land. Where's your title? Where's your title? Megan, where is your title? Well, you haven't got one. Boom. Out. That's it, Michelle. Boot them off. Boot them off the land. Put them off the land with their good go. Okay, I'll just leave that there for now. And today is Thursday, the 18th of July, 2024. Make and make my bloody nerves rattle. When my nerves, nerves rattle, something's really wrong. Something is really wrong. And and um, we're about, we, 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 we'll, we'll get to the bottom of this yet, um, Donovan. We'll get your dad to do something about it because this tax thing is not working because they crooked it, the tax. See, they buried the company. That's been going 80, 87. Dunn and Bradstreet have been accountant for the government. And just now, they blew it out. Just like the name Queen in right of New Zealand Company, gone, and bought a new one in. Crown Sovereign of New Zealand. It's crooked as bloody hell. Right? We've got some companies here. Moai, Crown, King William IV Trust. And the Moai, King William III of Orange War Powers Act. And the 1694 Bank of England Act. And the 1694 Pound Note Act to liquidate them all. And chuck them back in the sea where they come from. Okay? That's how it's going to happen, Donovan because you need boots on the ground to clean this land up of fraud and corruption. You, you just saw this, you just saw this, and this is the other half of, of the video I started with and cut off the video stop and I started it all up again. So another bit of video before this and another bit after. So I'm really upset, but my legs are good, my stomach's good, my brain's good, it's spot on. I went driving down the road, I get my warrant, and the car's good, and my stomach's good, my brain's good, my legs are good, my gut's good, my heart's good, my kidney's good, my gut's good, and everything's okay. Monday, I'll go get my ears checked, 
And then I go and get my license, well, re-license, because it's due on my birthday on the 8th of August next month. And I've got to get a medical certificate. And I can just about fly a plane again, because I feel good. And I can do anything, as long as I've lost, lost my feet in death, in the water. Well, what the doctor said to me, old doctor, John, wash your feet. Put this stuff on, and you won't get gout. You can have your sugar. It's not sugar. It's your feet. So, I wash my feet every day because I don't have to go to the hospital and pay the bill. Use the pains. You have to pay now. $12 for the pensioners. Get this. They're going to steal your house next because when you go to the hospital, you've got to pay $12 just to stand in front of the receptionist. And when you give your details of what you want to do, you got to pay for the doctor, he's going to be 3000 plus, and you got to pay for operation, that's another 2000 plus, and for the medication on top of it, plus a day in there is 1000 bucks a day, in the hospital, you pay for all your food, everything, from now on. So your bill will come out 35000 and you take it off your mortgage of your house, you can't pay it, because you've got no money, you can't even get a crypto, because they're going to pull the pension, no pension, after October. And they're doing it right now. I just read all the crypto news. And they've got BlackRock and JP Morgan have put in millions and bought out XRP crypto and Ripple crypto and Bitcoin crypto. And the, the director of the IMF that's picked it up IMF to go into the into the um, hang on just Brian hang on Brian just just hold on a minute I'll just finish the video hang on hang on hold it um, so I may just turn up and the, the the director of the IMF and what's her name her, her name is oh where's her name Rosie Rios she's holding 1.8 trillion dollars you're using a fiat dollars in crypto out of two trillion crypto out on the market at the moment. So she's holding the majority of all the cryptos in the, the US IMF, International Monetary Fund, and she's saying that it blockchain is the train has left the station and it's it's never gonna stop. And I'm saying, kid yourself, kid yourself. You, 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 you're bragging. You, you, you're bragging, and I'm going to do something about that because that's, that's a, a, offending my intelligence on what she's saying with the crypto when we've got a crypt, chip, chip coin and a power note with a two bar on it to go over the top of Rothschild before they bugger off and shut down the power note and go into the crypto. They catch them right in the middle of the floor. So there... Yeah, we we'll just end this video in a minute because I'm, I'm, I wasn't very happy and uh, let my blood cool off. When I, my nerves jump, there's something wrong. And, and because the um, um, IMF and, and um, her, Mia Rios, has taken a hold of the three biggest performing crypto just now, just now. And and they, they are going to produce a new currency, cash or whatever, I don't know. I'm just assuming that they'll print some more new dollars and put a new face on it. So that's the latest so far from the IMF and the Ripple and the um, Bitcoin and the X, XRP um, that have taken over the biggest market, biggest market of, of the crypto. So they'll shut all the other cryptos down and make everybody subject to one crypto. So I can see that already. And I'm warning the the group tonight with Michelle Coco down in Hastings, these, those big groups of Hapu, I'm going to warn them that don't buy the crypto from the government guaranteed crypto because the thing's going to... The, the IMF is, is, and this lady, she's the director of the IMF, and she's the director of Ripple. 
is going to shut them all down and you'll lose everything. You see, they're not going to do it. If you've got those the government guaranteed um, um, crypto, that could happen. That could, I'm not going to say it happened, but they've got control of the biggest lot of crypto currency. And you've got the little scraps, the little bits of one Bitcoin. And they've got all the Bitcoin in the billions and millions. And now she's saying trillions. She's saying 200 trillion is their gold mark. And she's holding on to 2 trillion coins at the moment. But it's going to snowball past 200 after their period of 5 to, five to 10 years. But 5 years, it would snowball way beyond 200. That's their goal, 200 trillion. And at the moment, once, once it gets to 2 trillion, it's going to take off. They're just waiting for it to do everybody to jump in and push their, their, their crypto up, the free cryptos up. And they own it. They own it. They've got the rights to own it. And you've got nothing but scraps. So, yeah, that, we'll leave it at that. That um, that guy, guy on at the tax department has really put me off. And the Indian Revenue has put me off. He says, we'll ring you when it suits us. That's what he said. We'll ring you when it suits us. I said, I want someone now because there's 17 trillion. I want back. I want it back because if you don't get it for me, I'll get it. And But you're going on camera. You're going on. Your voice is there. And someone will come and visit you. Someone will visit you because... We want some answers, and you prevented my corporate business. Um, um, you should have been glad to get 5.7 uh, trillion tax, and you turned my intelligence tricks off, and I'll find it, and then you'll get the bill on your head, okay? Because you won't be there long if the people won't buy your crypto. You see? So, so there. Um, I'll switch it off now, um, Brian, and let's talk. Okay, we'll see you later. That's today is Thursday, 18th of July, 2024. And uh, not very happy, but still in one piece. And the body's 100%, and the brain is 100%, and the mind is going spot on. Okay, see you later. Bye.